Brown Mountain Lights near Morganton, North Carolina mystified people for many years. On a dark night, mysterious lights could be seen dancing on and around Brown Mountain. They were first recorded in 1854 with more reports in the early 1900s. There were also unconfirmed Cherokee legends that reported the lights as early as 1200. However, these are not substantiated. The lights were studied by the U.S. Geological Survey in 1913 and found the lights to be from train headlights in the distance. 99% of the Brown Mountain lights can be explained with down-to-earth explanations. Are these lights atmospheric phenomena or are there geological processes at work? I spent two hours each night on the 26th and the 27th of December 2021 trying to capture the lights. I captured some very interesting things that explain what the lights are. I used a Nikon D5400 with the ISO set at 800 with 30 second time exposures. Brown Mountain is located in the western part of North Carolina. It is about 20 miles or about 32 kilometers north of Morganton, North Carolina on Highway 181. Brown Mountain is located three miles or about five kilometers southeast of the Brown Mountain Lookout. The elevation of Brown Mountain is 2,725 feet above sea level. That low-lying ridge in the distance is Brown Mountain. This is Chestnut Mountain, just to the north. This is what the lookout looks like during the day. That is Chestnut Mountain, and going towards the south is Brown Mountain. Okay, this is the first photo I took on the night of the 26th of December 2021, around 1830, local time. Any planes that will show up in here will look like dots because planes have blinking lights. And you can see quite a few of them in the background as they move from north to south, which is going from left to the right of the picture frame. That hill you see in the background is Chestnut Mountain. Now, if you look on the left-hand side of the picture, you will see a couple of orange lights that appeared to be moving upward. In fact, I saw these orange lights and they were moving upward very slowly. Now, I'm gonna tell you what they were here in a couple seconds. When I took this photo, there was a forest fire raging about a few miles north of this mountain, okay? Those lights, as they got a little bit closer, actually started to turn a little bit more white. Those lights, that looked like they were moving upward were actually planes coming in my direction. What happened was the haze from the forest fire actually drowned out a lot of the light from the plane, making it look like a small orange orb of light moving in my direction. But when the light came over above me, it was confirmed to be a plane. Now, what you see in the background there are lights from the towns of Lenore and Hickory, North Carolina. You can see the planes in the background. However, on the far right over here, I captured another light, but I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's a plane coming our way, but I didn't notice it from before. So there you go, you can see it right here. Here's another photo I took of Chestnut Mountain, and you can see that there is more orange lights that were coming my way that were confirmed to be planes later on.
Okay, there were some folks out there at the time said that they saw some uh, flashing lights north of Chestnut Mountain. So I aimed my camera over there, and this is what I captured. If you look very closely, you can see these lights are still not moving and within the trees. I've confirmed that these are actually buildings. Here's the same area again, and you can see a little bright flash of light. More than likely, either somebody had a car or they had a really bright flashlight. I actually saw the light blink for a moment when I took this shot. The area we were just looking at a moment ago is right here, circled in yellow. There is a road leading up to this area, and it's about a mile and a half away, and there's a few buildings located within the circled area right here. Now that I showed you at least a couple explanations on what the lights are, stay tuned for the next video, part two of the series of the Brown Mountain Lights.